cross-planet internet, self-appointed scientists are filming themselves in action. These internet heroes are doing bizarre experiments, making extraordinary inventions, and creating amazing scientific stunts. We've gathered a team of top science brains to analyze just how they do it, why they do it, and choose the very best. It's science, but not as you know it. So don't even think about trying this at home. These are outrageous acts of science. In this episode, we're looking at the hottest home hackers on the internet. Those experimenters who combine imagination with engineering know-how to create the impossible, hack together the unbelievable, and make the unthinkable. To get into home hacks, you've got to do some backyard engineering that blows my mind. I'm looking for the biggest hackers, the smartest engineers, and the most homemade inventions. Your wish is my command. To make it into home hacks, you've got to turn junk into genius. So now that we know what it takes to be a home hack master, it's time for our first contender. Meet Toronto, Canada's James Hobson. All righty, time for the big test. Inspired by the film Elysium featuring Matt Damon in an exoskeleton, James decided to hack his own version. All right, attempting to curl 171 and a half pounds with my homemade exoskeleton. I love this guy. He's like a backyard Iron Man. We caught up with the backyard Iron Man himself in Toronto. So ever since I was a kid, I've always loved superheroes, comics, especially now, the entire cinematic universe of comic books coming to life. And what I love about engineering is we're getting to the point where we're actually able to bring some of that science fiction to reality now. Like, it's actually possible to make some of these things that were once make-believe and just thought up by some comic book artist. All right. In this clip, which has over 1.2 million hits, James puts his exoskeleton to the test. <laughs> 170 pounds. Typical exoskeletons are built by teams of engineers, and they have really high budgets on their projects. This is a homebrew version that performs pretty well. Incredible. So how can a regular guy like James lift his own body weight with ease? James's exoskeleton is actually relatively simple. He has a steel structure, which is the skeleton part of it, kind of like our bones. He has the pneumatic cylinders, which are like the muscles. To power those muscles, you need to have compressed air, which comes from an air compressor. So when James presses a button in his hand, really high pressure air rushes into the top of the back piston, pushing it down, and into the bottom of the front piston, pushing it up. When James wants to let the weight down, he just releases the pressure off the cylinders and lets the air seep out gradually, which lets gravity pull the weight down. You might think there's no limit to how much he can lift. You just drive more compressed air into the cylinders. But the problem is he still has human legs and a human back, and those are fragile. Legs feel it, though. <laughs> so the next exoskeleton I'm designing, I'm actually designing opposite from this one. I'm designing it from the ground up. So I'm going to start with the legs, make sure those work before I get to the upper body. What I'm looking to actually do is make uh, exoskeletons for medical use. So for people with uh, disabilities or other certain weaknesses or even for rehabilitation. What a superhero. But before James saves the world, there's enough time for him to pick up his two sidekicks. 